Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys or sharing with you guys the top um, hairstyles that I normally do on myself every single time that I do go out somewhere. Now, big disclaimer, no, I am not a hairstylist. So if you guys see me doing something wrong, I am so sorry, um, but I'm not a professional hairstylist. This is just how I do my hair at home. Um, and for the majority part, I don't really do hair at all. I went to school for it, but I didn't like it. Definitely was not my cup of tea, um, but I do like doing like waves. And this is definitely one of the hairstyles you guys are gonna see in today's video. Cause I always get questions um, on how I get my curls to look so wavy and not so like crunchy or too like marcado where they're like super tight curls um, I like my curls mo mostly like this just really wavy and you guys are gonna see how I definitely did this to my hair and what tools I used um, so of course if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it so far um, also there is a little notification bell when you do subscribe it's that little bell is going to notify you every time that I do upload a new video so that way you don't miss out whenever I upload so yeah you guys I'll go ahead and show Shut up and let's go ahead and begin doing our her. <laughs> so with that said, you guys, besitos, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Hope that you enjoy it. See you soon. All right, ladies, so I'm gonna start off with freshly clean hair. I just got um, home from the gym and I blow dried it. So now let's go ahead and start to straighten this hot mess. <laughs> First things first, you guys, I'm going to go into my Joico K-Pack Serum Protector, which I only apply it towards the ends of my split ends and avoid my scalp. Since I already have a really oily scalp, I don't want any more oil. And then I'm going to go ahead and split my hair, and I always start from the bottom. And I'm taking a spiral hair tie, which I love because it doesn't damage or pull my hair once I do take it out. And then I'm gonna go into my new me hair straightener, which I've had for five years and still works perfectly fine. I'm gonna be splitting my hair into sections and then I just start from my root and then I start to just straighten it and go down all the way through my ends. And basically you guys, that's what I do when it comes to straightening my hair. I just take it into small sections and go from root to ends. I do go over four times on each hair um, piece to get it super flat. Um, so you guys, who remembers um, straightening your hair with an iron? Yeah, the iron that you normally iron your clothes with. I used to use that as a hair straightener before they were even invented. I remember my first hair straightener was from Revlon. A, I think it was from Revlon, a chunky white one. It straightened my hair so bomb, but before that, I would use the iron. So if you guys did that too, give this video a thumbs up. Almost done, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Got To Be Ultra Glue Styling Gel, and I'm going to flatten my flyaways. And that's pretty much it, you guys. That's how I straighten my hair. Super easy. Anybody can really do this at home. <laughs> This next hairstyle, you guys, is with bobby pins. Super fast, really, really easy. Um, so what I normally do is my hair is already straight, of course. I do pull some hair um, towards behind my ear and take a tail comb just to smooth that out. And then I go back into that gel. I warm it up in my fingers and I start to place it from root all the way towards the back of my ear. Um, and then for bobby pins, I do use these from Walmart. I get all my hair accessories from Walmart. I place about five bobby pins, totally up to your own liking. Um, and then once that is complete, I do go into my Kenra um, hairspray, which is extra hold and 25 hold to be exact. I do spray so that way no hairs are popping up and that it lays smoothly. Um, and then after that, I do adjust my hair to my liking so that way it lays really straight. Um, and then after I have done that, that's pretty much it, you guys. It is super fast, easy hairstyle. Literally, it looks like you actually tried. The bun, you guys, which is a hairstyle that I rock every single day. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all my hair, start to brush it with my Pro Elite brush from Glam Seamless. Once it is semi-smooth, I do go back into my Kenra hairspray and add hairspray all around. And then I do go back into my brush and start to smooth away any flyaways that I have. Um, this next step, you guys, super easy. I like to twist my hair and then I wrap it around. And taking my hair tie, I go around only once. Now with these hair, um, hair ties, they kind of suck, but they do hold my hair. Um, but I want to invest into like other hair ties that go around multiple times. But honestly, my hair doesn't go anywhere when I go over it once. And then I do take some bobby pins to just pin down my bun and any hairs that are sticking up. 
And then um, on the sides of my ears, I take out a little bit of hair and then some baby hairs um, towards my the temples in my hairline. And that's pretty much it, you guys, for my bun, which I do wear this every day. <laughs> All right, you guys, now it's time for my loose curls. Now, I do use my Glam Seamless Wand. A quick disclaimer, they no longer have this available. I went on the website, don't know why, but I will list an alternative down below for you guys that I've used um, for many years that works exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and split my hair just like I normally would when I would go and straighten my hair. And so when it comes to my um, curling my hair, I like to go ahead and have the tip of my wand look straight down and then I do curl around two times, leaving my ends straight. You can definitely curl your ends too, but I like it to I like to leave it straight just because it kind of gives me like that nice beachy wave look. And I honestly repeat this process throughout my hair. So also if you take a thicker sections, it's gonna give you more of a loose wave. Um, but I like to have like numerous of little waves going through my hair. Um, but that's something that I do sometimes too. If I'm really lazy, I'll take thicker pieces and I'll um, just wave it and go around maybe once or twice, but I always leave my ends looking straight. Another tip you guys that I actually learned from um, one of my hairstylists is that whenever you take out the curl, you pull the ends and loosen up the wave. So that way it gives it more of a wavy look versus um, than a like really tight curl. And then I do take my fingers and just run it through my hair. And basically, guys, I'm going to repeat the step until I am completely done. I also get a lot of questions on um, who dyes my hair or where do I get my hair done. And I do not have a hairstylist at the moment. I'm letting my hair breathe. So I'm just using um, some dye that I use from Joico, which I'll list it down below if you guys are interested. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I go ahead and just run my fingers through my hair. And that's how I get my waves. Super easy. You can definitely add hairspray if you want to, but I like it to be more wavy. This next hairstyle, it's the half up and half down. So easy, you guys can definitely recreate this at home. So let's start with leaving out the front pieces. Um, and then to hold the hair, I am using styling clips from Glam Seamless, which are only $5 and I will list them down below. I love using these when I am doing my makeup to pull my hair back, love them. And then picking up half of my hair and the way I part my hair is I use the outer corner of my eyes as a guideline. Um, and then once I am satisfied, I tie it with a hair tie and I do loosen up my hair since I like more of a messy look rather than a more slick back which you can definitely do if you like but for this hairstyle I like a more messy um, style then I take out my clips once I have my little ponytail I take a strand of hair from the back and I do hide my hair tie it's also um, optional if you want to hide it I normally like to hide it because it also gives it more of a chic look um, and then I secure my hair with the bobby pins in the back. Um, then if you feel like you need more volume or curls, I do recommend to grab the wand again and just make some more curls. Um, and then for the extra volume, you can also tease it if you want to. Um, I kind of like it more like loose. Um, but you can totally you can totally do that as well but i take my hairspray and then i spray upwards and i do let my hair fall while i am spraying at the same time which gives it some volume and you guys that's pretty much it super easy if you do recreate it tag me on instagram i would love to see it but this has definitely been my go-to for events all right, my honeys, and that's pretty much it for today's tutorial on these hairstyles that I've been loving and wearing frequently. Please comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite and which one would you wear. Um, I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!